Well, this should be something new and exciting. What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a good day. So today we're in the Land Cruiser. It literally just got here five minutes ago and of course it's raining because why would I not want my first time out in a $90,000 vehicle to be in rain, right? But anyway, tomorrow we're gonna go over everything about this vehicle as far as, you know, walk around, interior, exterior, all that. But today, let's do the driving impressions and how this 5.7 liter V8 with an eight speed transmission and full time four wheel drive feels. All right, we're now out here on the road driving this thing. This is a high-end vehicle. Like I said, it's around $90,000 and you could definitely feel right away and see and just everything in here feels expensive and the braking is a little different and that was fun. Again, in the rain, of course, when this vehicle gets here. So I don't want to do anything too stupid right off the bat, like cut off this 18 wheeler. Nah, I didn't cut it off. But anyway, let's first off, let's see how much power. Does the 5.7 feel like the 5.7 in this thing? feels good feels it's it's very weird to me to be in an suv and have that five seven liter motor under me um the sound is not as crazy as it is in the tundra of course i have the trd dual exhaust in the tundra but uh yeah this is going to be very interesting now two things i noticed right away is how tight the steering feels i when i saw this vehicle sitting outside my house a few minutes ago i looked at it and i said wow that is a lot bigger than i thought it would be of course i've seen um, you know land cruisers before but you know up close and personal in my driveway it feels or it looked like it was going to be a big kind of brake diving heavy vehicle but the brakes are very good too in fact almost a little too good I'm gonna have to get used to them it just I totally would have lost the bet on how this thing uh, feels versus what I thought it would feel like like I just got cut off right here and brakes were there right away it doesn't feel like the Tundra now what we always talk about in the Tundra is when you put your foot on the brakes the whole truck kind of lunges forward nothing like that here this thing this thing's a little sick and like I said all of the stuff inside here is super high-end at least it feels and looks that way like instead of leather it's like stitched leather um, wood grain feels like it's actually wood uh, you should see the navigation excuse me navigation screen I'll show you all this stuff tomorrow today we're just talking about the drive this would be an awesome vehicle for a nice long drive with the family you know if you're going away or whatever it feels like it's so quiet in the cab it's just I know you're not gonna be able to hear on the camera but it's just excellent as far as noise goes and noise cancellation like I said high-end materials in here pleasure to drive I thought getting behind the wheel of it I would feel uncomfortable because it's you know, I don't really drive things like this often especially big SUVs with a V8 in it but uh, this thing feels legit as far as the um, you know the the gauge cluster and everything it, it looks I don't know I don't know how to explain it I like the look but I I think I was expecting a little bit more. It kind of has that Toyota feel to it, a little bit of old school. Uh, the information screen in the center is kind of like, uh, there's no edges on it, it just kind of blends in. Again, I will show you all that tomorrow, but just my first impression. I gotta say the one thing uh, about this ride that I like more than anything is that the power is there whenever I need it. Um, just, you know, I shut the camera off for a little while and just got a feel for the old girl, uh, just so I'm not uh, jabbering away at you without actually feeling what the car feels like. Did a little bit of the input, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's always power there. It just, it feels like the 5.7 is perfect for this vehicle as far as always having something there when you need it. Um, it's just, it's so awesome. And like I said, on the outside, it looks so big, but when you're in here, it's kind of tight. I mean, not tight in a bad way, but it doesn't feel like um, it's super big. Like you could totally reach across. As you can see, I could reach across, no problem. Just, ah, this is, this is gonna be a good week. All right, so as far as blind spots and just your view of traffic and everything around you, 
Um, everything's cool except there is one major blind spot to the back right over there but you know I mean this car is dolled up with your blind spot monitoring and everything I would think yes it's there um, at this at this price point it better have everything on it um, but I this is why I'm terrible at doing video journalism is because every time I get in one of these vehicles I end up wanting them now I knew 110% that I would end up wanting this thing because this is some top of the line stuff. Love the way it drives, man. Like, I wish you guys could be in this vehicle with me right now and just feel how comfortable it is, how it rides over the bumps. Just everything about it is A plus all the way. I don't really have any negatives yet. Of course, I've been on the road with it for 25 minutes at this point, but I um, just got to get used to the braking a little bit and then I'll be good. But the motor is always there when you need it surprised at how refined this 5.7 v8 is compared to the tundra 5.7 v8 as far as sound um, it's just a lot quieter i'm sure you know no one wants to buy a ninety thousand dollar land cruiser and have a loud engine like that i would but you know you know for this price point um the target audience wants a nice quiet vehicle that gets them from point a to point b obviously with a lot of power and it could tow your boat so this is just a perfect family vehicle at this point i would drive this thing every single day all right sorry about that my camera died so now we are back on this other camera thankfully i brought two with me today so what i was saying before the camera died is that the seats are great they hold you in place really nice good bolstering they feel high quality the leather feels good on them um, the truck if i had to give one negative and it's not even so much a negative but i would have to get used to is the way the truck is in turns at speed like when you're coming into seaside is you kind of go through these low speed s's that you do about 30 miles per hour through and it kind of felt like the back end was going to come around a little bit um obviously it's going to be a top heavy vehicle but yeah a little bit of the 30 mile an hour turning or so felt slightly uncomfortable maybe i was going too fast into that turn but overall it's something i could get used to but i wasn't ready for that so the two things i definitely have to get used to is the braking and the turning but other than that this has been a lot of fun uh, a good time driving it around i did a lot more driving than you guys saw like i said i like to shut the camera off and kind of just get a feel for it before i start talking about it too much especially in something like this that i've never driven like when we had the 1794 i've driven tundras for a long time so i don't really need to do like a pre-drive to get an understanding of it but this thing has switches in it that i'm really going to have to get used to over the next couple days we obviously had the land cruiser for a week so i'm very excited um, I'm actually headed down. It's raining, of course, but I'm headed down to the bay here to go take a couple pictures with the water behind it. Just some nice shots, although it looks like you can't even see the water because of the fog, but whatever. Overall, on a 1 to 10 right now, I give it a solid 8, and I can't wait to get used to it and start seeing what this thing is all about. But I will say this in closing, I have mentioned this earlier in the video, this would be, if you have the means, this would be the ultimate SUV to own. I mean, it's obviously off-road capable. Um, you could definitely feel that it has a suspension on it that can handle, uh, you know, off the pavement conditions. Definitely happy that I'm getting a chance to review it. So thank you, Toyota USA, of course, for giving me this gorgeous press vehicle. And I can't wait to spend all this time with it this week and learn it. And by the end of the week, I'm not going to want to give it back. So if Toyota, if you don't want this particular vehicle, just let me know and I'll take it off your hands. No problemo. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Are you into the Land Cruiser? Have you ever really looked at it? Personally, I've never really looked at it just because it's so expensive. So it's totally not in my price range. So... I guess we shall see what this week brings us. As always, Twitter and Instagram, TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. I'll talk to you soon.